On to news happening today. Early voting begins for Albuquerque's runoff election. It's been a long road to elect the city's next mayor. Starting this morning, the voters can head to the polls once again. News 13's Fernanda Lopez is live at the city clerk's office with what voters need to know this morning. Good morning, Fernanda. Good morning, Crystal. Two mayoral candidates remain after voters narrowed down the field from seven three weeks ago. Now, state auditor Tim Keller took a strong lead with 40% of the votes at the end of election day, October 3rd. But without reaching that 50% mark, he's facing city councilor Dan Lewis in this runoff election. Now, Lewis, who has put out a series of attack ads throughout his campaign, walked away with about 21% of the votes earlier this month. UNM political science professor Gabe Sanchez says Lewis is still down at least 10 points in polls. It's the tail end of this campaign, so Lewis has got to go with whatever he's got. Um, and essentially, he's going to probably have to come a little even more negative uh, down the home stretch here. And Keller keeps doing what he's doing, which is essentially trying to stay above the fray. I'm trying to remain positive and emphasize look, I've got the endorsements of the police. How could I be a hug a thug? Now also on the ballot for District 5 in far northwest Albuquerque is the runoff for the seat formerly held by Dan Lewis. Republican Robert Aragon and Democrat Cynthia Borrego will face off. There are 12 early voting locations. And remember, if you are heading out to early voting today, you will need your photo ID. Now, Election Day is November 14th. There will be more than 50 voting locations that day. Crystal? All right. Thanks so much, Fernanda. In the meantime, you might be seeing